In this video, we're gonna be talking about hamstring strains. What are hamstring strains? Why do they take place? What can you do to understand if you're dealing with a hamstring strain? And then more importantly, what can you do to get it better? So what is a hamstring strain? A hamstring strain is another word for a hamstring tear. And there are different grades as to how this get manifest. Typically speaking, this happens as you bring in pace with your running. So during a interval run, a track run, or a long hard run as well, where the hamstring will fatigue and then eventually it causes a muscle to tear. So how do you determine if you've got a hamstring strain? Swelling and bruising isn't a really accurate way of determining that. You can get swelling and bruising if you're someone that swells and bruises up easily at a low level strain. So it doesn't always correlate with the level of damage. The best way to understand if you've got a hamstring strain is firstly palpate the hamstring belly. So you're gonna get pain around the middle of the hamstring itself or a little bit lower down, but typically will follow the path of the muscle itself. The best thing to do to understand how bad your hamstring strain is, is can you contract that muscle? So can you bend the knee actively? And more importantly, can you then hold isometrically for long durations to test the endurance? So a hamstring bias bridge is a great way of testing this out. If your hamstring is quite painful, you can try a double leg hamstring bridge and hold that for 30 seconds and see if you can manage it. And if you can do that, you can progress it to a single leg hold to see if there's any side to side discrepancies or what that hamstring can manage under a single leg stress point. Using these tests can give us some information whether your hamstring is strained or just mildly irritated. And then from there, we can start to formulate an action plan. As always, when you're dealing with muscle strains, when you're dealing with injuries, it's best to get them tested and get some professional opinions. So that could be getting an opinion from a sports medicine consultant, a physiotherapist or a health professional in your home country. You don't always need to get a scan or an MRI. That's typically reserved for when the health professional thinks your hamstring strain is a bit further down and you've probably done a more sinister injury and a bigger level tear and the MRI will help us determine the extent of the injury.